This is an autoimmune disease, meaning it's a disease of the immune system where the immune system cannot distinguish between what is foreign and what is self. So there are proteins made by cells in the body, and these are called antibodies. So some of those antibodies become like renegades and actually attack and destroy, in some instances, organs and tissues of the body. And the, worst the way we treat lupus is to turn the immune system down to immunosuppress. That's actually the name of the drugs. Immunosuppressants are the drugs that we use to treat the disease. And that can be from cortisone or prednisone to chemotherapeutic agents, things that are generally used for diseases like cancer. It stole my identity. It stole my energy. My smooth, clear complexion. It stole my confidence. I can't enjoy a sunny day at the park with my family without the risk of getting sick. I can't dance anymore. It put a strain on my relationship. Lupus is a chronic autoimmune disease that can affect any part of your body, including your skin. This means that something goes wrong with your immune system, the part of your body that fights off bacteria, germs, and illnesses, like the flu and your immune system can't tell the difference between them and healthy tissues in your body. Lupus is not like cancer. Lupus is not like HIV or AIDS. In HIV or AIDS, the immune system is underactive. In lupus, the immune system is overactive. Keep us moving. People always say, but you don't look sick. I developed a blood disease and needed transfusions and chemotherapy. I was afraid. Different. Depressed. I feel sick. Skinny. I was overweight and bald. 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 I was 19 years old when I was diagnosed with lupus. I believe I was diagnosed with lupus um, at the age of 19. I was sick for 20 years. Um, I was unable to have children. Um, I have an adopted son. Eventually, um, it affected most of my vital organs. If I could have my Cassie bag, <laughs> I would, uh, you know, every day would be so special. Well, I remember going to the emergency room and I went to sleep. And then when I woke up, it was like a month later. Woke up one morning devastated. I'm still mourning the fact that I had a healthy child who was no longer a healthy child. I didn't know that it would be so bad. I didn't think that it would change my life so much at that point as it does, as it had. Lupus destroyed my, my kidney. So I would say my biggest fear is actually is dying. I'll be honest with you. I actually say that, you know, I'm going to start working on my will. Well, I would just point out to my personal experience of having lost uh, just such a, a valuable person that I loved uh, so much. Uh, you know, it, it was something that I really didn't think about enough and, and, and didn't hope that it would never happen. And, but it is, it's a life-threatening uh, type of situation. <laughs> Boy, I really can't explain it, but it is definitely an illness that um, is very painful. It really is. I think many people don't appreciate something that I think is an incredibly important concept, and that is that these young, young patients, and mainly women, have exceedingly high rates of heart attacks and strokes. They fear death, I mean, without a doubt. Um, you can die from lupus, and that's a, that's a big fear. They fear disability. Um, they fear losing their job. Many of the women fear that they'll never have children because pregnancy can be a challenging time for women with lupus.
for um, about a year and two months. I still haven't noticed a big, huge difference in how I feel. Uh, my joints, actually, my joints feel better, but my fatigue is about the same. I can sleep for about 14 hours a day, 14, 15 hours, and it still feels like I just, you know, I woke up after about three hours or four hours of sleep. been a lupus patient for 24 years and I got I hadn't, didn't respond to any medications and um, a lot of the problems I had were because of the drugs. There have been no drugs available except for um, prednisone, Plaquenil and aspirin. There has to be something else. Um, when I was a senior in college I was diagnosed with lupus nephritis and I had to go through chemotherapy and high doses of prednisone which led me to develop shingles and pneumonia. I retired three years ago and lupus has become my retirement. That it's not an insignificant disease, that it has affected her gravely. It has changed the course of her entire life from the time she was 11 years old. Nobody understand, understood that I, was, I too was having chemotherapy just like the people who were having cancer were having chemotherapy. Um, you know, you hear about cancer, you hear about um, diabetes, all the other diseases have such a big stand, a big name in the world, but lupus, people always misunderstand lupus. Mm, what you say, mm, that you only meant well, but cause you did, mm, what you say, mm, that it's all for the best, cause it is what you say, mm, that it's just what we need, you decided this, what you say, mm, what did she say?